Hey y'all, this is Cliff from the Dusty Cliffs. I want you to take a minute to like and subscribe before we're getting ready to start painting on the Ruger here. Finally decided what we're going to do. And this might be a little longer video than usual. I'm going to try to cut it down. And this is not a how-to because this is... I paint rifles all the time, but I don't try to do anything fancy. I just break up the colors so that uh, they're camouflaged. But we're going to try to do this one a little bit nicer. So I'll cut it, chop it, whatever we got to do. But I'm going to get started and I'm going to start off with the uh, sort of the khaki tan. All right, I got everything. Oh, I better move this. I got everything wiped down. I've wiped it down about 10 times, so I'm sure I'll still find a big greasy fingerprint that I didn't see. Got everything that I don't want painted taped off. I'm just going to use that scope for now, so I'm just going to paint right back over it and make it match this rifle. So we'll get started, see what happens. Might turn out bad, might turn out good. Don't know till you try it. That's the problem. People's afraid to try stuff. If you mess it up, do it again. All right. You ready? Move that over. I'm not completely blocking what I'm doing. See, this is why this will take a while because I'll have to let it dry a little bit to see if there's any light spots and spin it around to the other side. Now I've got a mixture of Rust-Oleum, Krylon, and a lot of this stuff's just laying around from where I've painted rifles over the years. Rednecks is always painting something. Now, I don't try to paint my rifles to where they're never going to wear off. And when I die, I don't want my grandchildren to get into my gun safe and my guns all look brand new like they've never been used before. I want them to say, what in the world Grandpa do that thing? Because I plan on using them. I don't buy guns that I don't plan on doing anything with. We're going to use a mixture of this mesh which I started messing around started messing around earlier and just seeing what kind of patterns it would come out with so it gives you sort of the uh, snake scale pattern with this bigger mesh and then I might lay some of the smaller stuff into it depending on how it looks and the, the three basic colors I usually use is just the 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 tan the, the dark green and the brown I I don't ever put black in it I've never really seen the need to you know the, the rifles only got so much that you can do with it I feel like too much color too many things going on now I've done the pine needle paint a few times and uh, I like the way that looks but man that stuff that's a hassle because I actually do it with pine needles and going out and digging out some clean pine needles. It's just a pain, especially it's raining out real hard right now. So we're gonna go with something just uh, man-made stuff here, try to make it look good. Looking to make sure I ain't got no spider webs hanging off of it cobwebs floated over or anything like that I got both sides painted let it dry I had to get the heat up here in here a little bit it was taking longer to dry than it should have played a game of PUBG that's right I said PUBG you don't judge me ah <laughs> I like PUBG but so I'm gonna have to do this in sections because that's all I've got 
never used this before other than just playing around with it so we'll see what we come up with here I know I'm going to want to go in almost a W pattern all the way up so it's probably going to take several do one there and then move it a little and get some up top. And I'm going to hit the green next. Like I said, I'm not real worried because you can't really mess up camouflage. You, you want it to look good, but as long as it does the job, I'm not going to be a not going to be real real picky with it. So we'll try it this way, see what happens. Now what I'm going to do is go around and hit some stuff like this and then I'll fill it in more later. Now see like that place I've got the lot of green? I'll just put this right back over it, hit it with some brown, blend it right in. Like I said, I don't really think you can mess up camouflage too much as long as you're breaking up the pattern. If I'm laying out there in a the field somewhere and the coyotes can't see me, then I've success. <laughs> Get some down here on the legs. I got a little spot there that's kind of screwed up. But, but we can come back in and hit it with some more browns and heck, we can even put more tan on it if we want to. But I think what I'm going to do right now is get ready and I'm going to hit it with some brown. So I'm going to turn this off. We'll come back when i got everything set up to do the brown. We're going to do this side, kind of spin it around, kind of try to line it up from the top. Like I said, you can't really mess up camouflage as long as you don't have a lot of straight lines. you got good earth tones. You've made a camouflage rifle. So... If you want to try to do stuff like this, just do it. Uh, you can watch videos forever, but until you actually get out, try to do the stuff, see if you can do it. And if you don't do it right the first time, do it again. And again. Eventually you get it. All right, I'll be right back. All right, took me a minute to get the brown going. I knew that was going to happen. For some reason, it keeps clogging up the nozzle. So, we'll just throw it around here all willy-nilly and see what we can get with some brown on it. Let's see, that's the beauty of it. That right there where it spit all that out, I can grab the tan, come back, throw some tan over that, do it again. Try to get some more brown up here in the center part. I'm gonna have to blend in some more. Get a little brown down here on the, this here.
see the way you should do this really is hang it but I don't have any place to hang it so we doing it this way all right I'm gonna hit the other side a little bit and we'll see what we got all right well what seemed to work the best was going over it and doing that scale pattern and then going over that with just the regular spray to try to blend it in so it's not all that scale because with too much of that scale it really looked bad now I really won't know what this is going to look like until it all dries and I take the tape off and everything but like I said you can't it's hard to mess up camouflage earth tones no straight edges your camouflage now it, it's not going to look professional but I'm not a professional I'm just a redneck that likes to paint my guns so when I go out hunting they blend in that's just it went in the house my wife said Lord you smell like paint but every once in a while a man should smell like paint or grease or smell like he's been welded but all right that's about all I got for today I'm tired paint can blew up my hand we're gonna get this out as soon as this rain quits do some shooting and now that it's all green brown and tan you won't be able to see it all right like subscribe come back y'all take it easy